You might have wondered why during takeoff and landings we are asked to keep our window shades open, seats upright, tree triple closed and the cabin lights are dimmed. Well, the short answer for this is for our own safety. The most critical phase during a flight is during takeoff and landing. This is a phase where a ground vehicle transitions to become an aerial vehicle and vice versa. Hence the chances of any catastrophe go up high. Statistically speaking, a survey from Boeing with data points spanning from 10 years, 2007 to 2016, says that the probability of a mishap is a whopping 61% during these phases, with 48% alone during landing. Despite being the shortest phase during a flight, this is the most critical phase. The link to this survey is in the description below. Now coming back to the question, one of the primary reasons why window shades are open during takeoff and landing is to help us in adjusting to external lighting conditions. And this is the reason why cabin lights are dimmed during takeoff and landings. Imagine being at movie theater all dark. During interval, the theater lights up. You take a moment or two to adjust to the surroundings. Similarly, when you wake up in the morning to a bright light, you squeeze your eyes for a few seconds to see. To avoid loss of these critical seconds during emergency procedure, window shades are left open to help us accommodate to external conditions beforehand. This has nothing to do with engine requiring more power during takeoff and landings. This is what I used to think for a long time. Open windows also prompt curious passengers to look outside the window, hence they notice anything going wrong, like a spark, metal piece falling off or even a bird strike. I remember an episode from Air Crash Investigations, also known as Mayday in some parts of the world, featuring a Helios flight of Cyprus, in which pilots and the passengers had become unconscious due to lack of cabin pressurization. With no response from the flight deck, fighter jets scrambled the plane over Athens. What was going inside the aircraft was unknown. Open windows helped the fighter pilots to know all crew and passengers are lying unconscious. Although the plane didn't land, but that did provide critical leads for the investigations. Now coming to the point why do we have seats upright and tray tables closed? Although aircrafts are usually tested to be evacuated within 90 seconds, including the A380's all 873 passengers, with half of the doors blocked. But the actual scenario could be different. A blocked recliner seat or a tray table can delay the process of evacuation as getting them back in place would mean losing crucial seconds during evacuation. This could be that a critical half a second which could mean everything. This is the same reason why crew asks you to put your bags stored above while seated in the emergency rows. This is the reason why emergency rows are broader and have extra leg room compared to other rows. Just a word of advice, always wait until the aircraft is airborne and the fasten seat belt signs are turned off to remove your shoes. Same goes for tuning into headphones or earphones. This is my first attempt in making a YouTube video. Any suggestion, ideas and questions are always welcome. Do not forget to subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon. Also like and comment the video. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and family. Safe flight.